All right, all right, we got Midas. What's up, Midas? What up, what up? All right, first question I wanted to ask you, um, what year did you actually start, like, like, dancing, like, the style that you came up with, like, when was that? I mean, I started dancing in 97. Uh, I've been dancing since I was a little kid, but in 97 is when I first, like, got into the breaking scene and started seeing that there was a community and got down, like, serious, started training and hitting the, hitting the ground. Okay. Who were some of the earliest crews that you've seen oh. that inspired you when you wanted to start dancing, like out here on the West Coast? West Coast wise, the 101. Pasadena was my inspiration, like from day one. Like when I say 97, I could like name the exact moment where I had that awakening, like this is a real dance and I gotta get into it. Was seeing Stuntman and Cusser at a water park called Raging Waters out here in, in LA. And there was a rave type of thing, like high school house party rave type of thing that they, they threw there. And they were just repping 101 and killing the circle, and I was just like, fuck, I gotta get with that right there. And there was other crews, like, you know, you had, of course, like Air Force crews, legendary, West Coast, LA, and just like West Coast rockers and crews like that. But 101 is by far my biggest thing. Okay. Um, so, what's up? What is the, um, the, the term casualty of ups? What does that stand for? Casualties of Ups is something Stuntman came up with. Stuntman from 101 Style Elements. Uh, he came up with that. It basically means, like, at the time that he came up with it, especially, but I mean, even to this day, mad heads, they don't dance when they break. Like, they might do the steps, but they don't really dance and they don't have that flavor uh, on top. And we call, it, we call it Ups, you know what I mean? Dancing on top, we call, we call it Ups. And uh, Casualties of Ups means you don't have Ups, you're gonna fall casualty in the circle, especially if you go up a cat like. One of us from casualties that knows how to dance, and you don't have it, you're gonna fall casualty. That's it. So it just represents like a lot of heads that were pushing up in the scene from then all the way to today. Stunt man thing. That's a, that's always a thing. That's how I got down with stunts. The first thing he said when I met him was like he came up to me and was like introduced himself and was like, yo, you got dope ups. I want you to be down with casualties. And that was like my introduction to stunt man. He was obviously probably my biggest influence. My biggest influence. Easy. Okay. Another question I want to ask, probably because you're like more closer to him, um, what's going on with Elsewhere? A lot of people always ask me, they said like they, they like you and Else, Elsewhere style, so yeah. you know what he's been up to lately? Elsewhere is just doing his thing, man. He, hand, he handles a lot of business and just, he still dances. He has a room in his house that's just like wooden floor and mirrors and he just trains there. And you know, we still, still my brother, we vibe out and keep in touch on us. You know, on a friendship thing and a dance thing. But he he doesn't go out to jams and stuff, but he still does just dance, always coming up with new stuff. He does those little gigs and commercials here and there. But yeah, he's just chilling. You know, people move on, they do other things in their lives, but the dance thing for cats like elsewhere is I don't think ever gonna go away. But he's still right, right. Around. So how do you feel about um, being in Stylements right now in 2011 compared to? You've always been casualty of us, originality stands alone. What does Solomon's mean to you? Well, I gotta say, I mean, when I said 101 inspiration, that was my early inspiration. Solomon's is obviously, like, the Solomon's inspiration just went like a tidal wave all over the world and, and hit us in LA. They're so close by. 101 actually, Solomon's were close back in the day, so whole one was always around uh, early in LA. One of my biggest influences, too. So, Solomon's thing today is like, necessary man that's all it is it's like the scene needs it the scene is watered down like crazy they took the breaking and took it like to, to like some left field shit where it's like by itself but we got to bring it back to the hip-hop culture element where where's the graph at where's the dj at where's the mc at it's all one thing it's not a separate little tap dance you know competition so style is necessary style is, you know it's an honor to even be considered to be like part of the family and i'm gonna put it you know what i do into the you know bigger mix and it's just an honor and it's just a necessary thing and it's for it's a movement thing you know what i mean style is like bring back the style to the dance and bring back the elements to the dance the elements of hip-hop right do you have any advice to um like newer b-boys if they wanted like creativity like what should they be inspired by instead of always looking like Everybody that breaks today, like, Yo, I see especially if you're from Cali, though, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is what I would say, man. Wherever you're from, you, you just need to break that fear. You know, I, I just noticed a lot of heads are scared to be themselves in the circle, and you can feel it. And then when you talk to them, it just confirms it. You know what I mean? I've heard young heads tell me like, "Yeah, man, I like your style, but well, I, I want to do this, but 
I want to enter competitions too, and I can't advance if I do that. It's like on the rim, I'm fucking competition. Like, be yourself. If you're not, if you're scared to be yourself and create and contribute, you're not a b boy. I don't care what anybody says. That's like a common sense thing. So you know, be yourself, push the boundaries. You get your props, man. You trust me, and you'll change the minds of the judges. That's when you really be uh, on top of your game. Is when you can enter a competition and flip the script on everybody, the audience, the judges. That's a real impact that you can make. So, man, West Coast wise. Man, West Coast, you know, this Karis once said it, the East created it, the West decorated it, you know what I mean? Solomon again, perfect for that. The 90s, that's a West Coast thing to me, you know, like innovation is, is, is part of the West Coast thing. DJ and Kubert and all those hats, the graffiti, MSK, AWR, CBS, like MC, Freestyle Fellowship, Project Glow, like we put in work for the culture and flip stuff, you know what I mean? And that's the West Coast legacy, that's the East Coast legacy. But yeah, man, we gotta hold it up high. And do our thing and be ourselves, have fun, but there's, there's principles. Right. You got any um, last shout outs before we end the interview? You want to shout out anybody? Yo, man, shout out to Mikey Ice. I know you've been doing your thing. It's a pleasure to meet you, brother. And I appreciate you interviewing me and all that. Uh, style Elements crew, of course. And, you know, never forget, our originality stands alone, man. We live by that. And that's my family all day. Catch me to up. And shout out to everybody, man, doing their thing. And, uh, keep it, keep it going love, man.